Hi, my name is Peach. Let me not waste your time. So in the duo contest, I was about to mask a bunch of stuff, and then I realized I had to do a masking tutorial as well. So why don't I just combine it into one if I'm already doing a bunch of masking? So that's what I'm doing now. If you don't know what masking is, masking is a tool in editing programs that allows you to limit an effect to a certain area or cut out a certain section of footage. Basically, masking is like using a cookie cutter to limit where an effect or footage is visible. Say you want to use a mask in order to cut out a moving character, and then you want to put text behind them. It's kind of what I'm doing with Sumi right here. And I'm going to teach you how to use the polygon mask and how we're going to animate a mask around Sumi. So first thing you have to do is get a polygon mask, which you can get from right here. Put it below where we can plug it in. We're going to plug it in here. I'll explain this a little later. But then we're going to go to the first frame and then we're going to mask her out. So wait, we mask. Make sure you have the polygon mask highlighted. I'm going to zoom in. You hold down control and you scroll in. And if you want to drag around like this, you just use the middle mouse button. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to draw lines all around her. So when we start, we just start clicking like this. I'm just going to draw a line around her. You usually want to put your uh, points on the corners or as, cl as close to the lines as possible. And you see how it go I was putting it on the corners right now. It's fine to do this right now because I'm going to go back and fix it later. So let me show you. When we are masking out something, we want to use the least amount of points as possible because that allows us when we start animating the mask to only do a little bit of work when readjusting the mask points. You'll see what I mean in a minute. All right, we have her masked out roughly the first time. And so you see, you know, it's not perfect. So we're going to go back over it and we're going to smooth out the corners. See, we want this line to be smoothed out. We're going to highlight this point right here. We're going to hold down control and drag it. And that allows us to curve the line the way we want to. Say if I didn't have hold control, it'll move this line. And sometimes it moves this line as well. What we want to do is we want to only move one part of the line at a time. I'm just going to do this for the rest, assuming again. Now, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you've seen the video by my boy Facet about masking in the color page. I used to bag on this technique before because I didn't think it was efficient and because I've been masking in the Fusion tab my whole time I've been using Resolve. But I must say, for the clip that he chose, his method was the best way to mask. You can see in the clip that he chose that Tanjiro is moving in drastically different positions between each frame. So I've come to the conclusion that if you need to adjust for small motions like I'm doing with Sumi, masking in the Fusion page is more efficient. But if you have a large movement between your frames, and you need to make a mask for every single frame, then you should use the color page. Now you can see the line is very you know, adjusted to Sumi's shape. Now what we're going to do is the keyframe of the frame that Sumi starts her new movement, and then we're going to go back one frame and keyframe the last frame Sumi was at in her first movement. As you can see, now we have to readjust the mask. And since we did infusion, we don't have to draw the mask over again like we do on the color page. All we have to do is move the points over. It's going to do that around Sumi. Sometimes it doesn't match up correctly, so you just have to recurve it. But it's all, <clears throat> you don't have to drag. You don't have to remask everything, all the new points. As long as you do it like this. And yeah. As you can see here, there's a new gap that was created when she turned her head. So what we can do is just add another point. We just by clicking on the line and dragging it there and then readjusting where it needs to be. So you want to move multiple points instead of having to move both points separately. You can just highlight all both of these points and then you could move it and they will adjust accordingly. All right, now we masked out our second frame. I'm going to go to our third frame. All right, I finished masking all of our movements. As you can see, what you're supposed to do is put it into that input, the, the blue input right there, the mask input. You'll have something like this, but I want to put stuff behind her and all in this one fusion composition. So. I'm going to put the mask here on this. What this is, it's no graph is, it's basically its own itself. This is the, the footage going to a pipe and back into a merge. And so whatever is here is being masked. And so whatever I put back here, I can put a merge here. I can put a background, just make a little box that goes behind her. You can see a little behind her. Now, I did notice when looking back at this that there's these gaps right here that are supposed to be blocked out as well. So I'm just going to use another polygon mask and mask those out as well. Now that I have this mask drawn out and animated, we need to connect it to our node graph. The way that we're going to do this is by connecting it to our other mask that we made, and then you will see that it doesn't work yet. What you need to do is click the mask in front of it and start changing the paint mode. I put it to add and it didn't do anything. I put it to subtract and it takes everything away, but if I put it to invert, you can see that it poked a hole in the mask above it. So we're going to use that one. And that's it. If you have any more questions or requests on tutorials I should do in the future, 
would please comment them down below. And if you are a DaVinci Resolve editor and you would like to join the Resolve AMV community discord, there's an invite link in the description if you'd like to join or need additional assistance. And with that, subscribe and have a good day. You know, so I just posted my most recent Horamiya edit to TikTok and it kind of went crazy. I didn't expect it to be like that. But if you're from there, hello that you are. But yeah.